So as you can see, this has a beautiful stamp set. And if you can see the shading on the images, that's because they are one of those, those cool ones that are designed that when they stamp, they don't stamp like really solid. They have light and dark already just built right into the stamp. So you just have to ink and stamp and it's got that nice shading in it. But I'm gonna show you another little technique with that tonight as well. And, and then you've got the dies that go with it and you can see you've got dies that go around the images. And then you've also got the little branch and a little label for the words. And what I love are these tiny, tiny flowers and leaves. And I'm gonna show you a project with those. But I thought these would be great for making your own little embellishments. You know how sometimes, well, not sometimes, a lot, of, most of the time we add like rhinestones or sequins and things. Well, if you didn't have anything that matched or wanted to make something that was quite uh, budget conscious, you could just make your own with these really tiny flowers. You can see that you've got some peach and floral prints and then you have these more solid ones the stripes and the polka dots and i just love these colors together they're just so happy and beautiful i'm going to find my stuff here i'm going to make a square card with you tonight square cards are actually my favorite kind of card so this is five by five inches or five by ten inches folded in half four and a half inches square, four and three eighths inches square, and four and a quarter inches square. So just each one is just slightly smaller than the other. And then I've put this up on dimensionals, the white piece. So I've got the soft sea foam down flat, and then this layer up on dimensionals. Hopefully I've got that straight. I'm not straight over it. Okay, something like that. Yeah, it looks crooked on the video, but it's actually fairly centered from where I can see. This is what I call my four square technique. It's where I'll take four squares and layer them on the front. And I see I didn't put these two together. So let me just do that really quickly. So you've just got to do a little bit of measuring. So if this is four and a quarter inch squared, then these squares worked out to be the white squares are two inches square and then the designer series papers are one and seven eighths inches square and i don't know if you notice but this is a new folder a music note folder that this actually won't be out till august 3rd and it will be in the new book but i just couldn't resist using it it was out and i saw it and i just wanted to use it music has nothing to do with peaches but i still wanted to use it anyway and i will send this card to someone so please leave me a comment and i'll do a random selector and um, and pick someone so using this four square technique is a really great way to use or showcase beautiful printed papers but also, um, it's just an if, especially for people who like things to be very centered and even, it's a very uh, tidy way to design a card. And it doesn't even have to be a square card. You could have your four squares, you know, more towards the top of a rectangular, traditional sized card. All right, then we're going to put our main image here. But first put on our words. Now these words are from that Sweet as a Peach bundle and I've just stamped those and cut them out with the stitched rectangles and then matted that onto a piece of soft sea foam. Okay, and then we'll do our peaches and we're gonna do our peaches down here in this fourth square. And I'm gonna show you a great variation of this project too. Okay, so to do our peaches, we're going to stamp the vine here, and I've just done that in Pure Pizzazz. And then to do the three little peaches, I'm going to stamp, I'm going to ink it up in Pale Papaya. We'll get both of those open quickly. Um, there we go, Pale Papaya. And then I'm going to take my sponge dauber with Calypso Coral, and just along the bottom of those peaches, just add a little bit of that darker orange color. And I'm gonna stamp that over here. And then what I'll do is I'll take the two dies that 
uh, go around these images and cut those out. And I've got those already done here. So I will adhere my branch on. Okay, and hmm. And it, it's fine if it goes outside the square. I actually think it looks better if it does go outside the square because then, um, I don't know, it just doesn't look quite as contained but that's personal preference. And then I'll put these little peaches up on dimensionals and they do look really nice. And just brings all those colors together. And I tied that linen thread already because I feel like you need a little bit of dimension um, on most projects. There we go, we'll just put that there. So this stamp set also has a very large singular peach. So I'm going to stamp that for the inside and I'll do the same, sorry if I'll get it on camera. I'm going to ink it up in the pale papaya and then I will sponge dauber with the Calypso Coral to get that darker look along the edge. It actually really looks quite realistic when you, when you do it um, like that. And then I'm just going to stamp the little stem here in the pure pizzazz and we'll I think having a couple layers inside your card just makes the card feel very uh, substantial and and nice so let's do a big one and a small one and maybe another small one here and then we can do like a medium one and a small one and then you can use your designer series paper to make a matching envelope which just looks so cute and i love using the double-sided paper because then you get that beautiful coordinating print on the inside as well which is just so great it really makes a card go from you know great to amazing so i hope you like that one but i want to show you another version of this i'm just going to close this ink pad so I was playing around with this this afternoon and I did another version but this one I feel like I'm a little bit crooked this one I did as you can see with all black and white papers and these are the host papers but anyway the what I wanted to point out is I did the exact same card but inked those peaches in red and instead made them into cherries and I've seen some samples or maybe I just dreamed it up but anyway I'm thinking that you could do them in purple for plums and make apricots and you could do all sorts of different fruit with them. Um, and so I hope you like that one too. I'll move those over here. And then this is one that I've done in a few classes and just using those peaches again and this time adding that really cute bee that we all love. And there's a lot of gold embossing on this card. So it's quite, quite a nice rich card. And this one, I wanted to do one that wasn't peaches and uh, wanted to use those tiny flowers so, and that really cute branch. So I've used the branch um, and I cut that out of the brushed gold metallic paper. It's a pack that's got gold and rose gold in it and really great. So I've cut out about five of those branches and then just did the flowers in some various subtle colors and um, you can see just made, put them in rainbow order along the card. So I hope you like that one. And then I just wanted to show you a little tag I made. These are great to do with just your little scraps and things. And then the last one is a card that was inspired by Krista Fratton, oops, Krista Fratton who's a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And, but she did hers with the strawberries, so I just changed it up to do the peaches. But this one's got a little fold on the side and then opens up like that. So it's just kind of a fun, different fold, but a nice, nice um, design idea. There you go. I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do with the peach bundle and those beautiful papers. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And thanks for joining me tonight, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.